What's going on YouTube? This is what would Josh do and this is a video on the brand new TickWatch S2. This is the ultimate version. It's got like falling sensors and and all sorts of like fitness and GPS and it's it is the the uh the beige niche. So it's swim proof up to 5 ATM, 48 hours of battery life, lightweight design, built-in GPS, so you'll always know where you're at if you're lost. A heart rate sensor, USB charging dock, the manual, and the watch. So Wear OS by Google, customizable watch face, receives notifications, Google Assistant, and music streaming. So this is exciting. Now this will be something my wife uses. So I have her uh, one plus five T, five five T T five whatever, um, and we're gonna connect this watch to it. So. She had the LG G6. We went to the T-Mobile store when they had a promotion where you got $300 for trading credit. <laughs> and it was an LG G6 that I got for a review like three years ago. <laughs> so I traded in the LG G6 that I got for review. I'm a terrible person, but hey, I got $300 off a phone that costs like $500. So whatever. It is what it is. So my wife is one of those like, she cannot stand the built-in bands. She goes and picks out different color bands and switches out her band every day. So that's that. She's going to change that band out for sure. But I always just keep it unless it breaks. So there you go. You got your manual in case you get lost and you don't know what to do. You have them right there. You got a really cool charging dock that you just set the watch down and it magnetically like sticks itself to it. Oh, it's got this protective stuff on the back here. Let's... Peel that off, that big old heart rate sensor that has its own little film on top of it too. Cool. And so the connectors, it goes sideways like that. And it's got a very nice hold on it. I remember how hard it was to charge my original LG G watch. The one I made a video on back in like, oh, what was it, like several years ago now? Almost several years ago? Um, charging has become a lot better since then. So nice, quick, easy you aren't going to mess that up. Doesn't need to be adjusted for 10 minutes and hopefully not bumped throughout the night to charge up. <laughs> so I plugged into a little battery bank and now we get the Tick Watch logo. These are pretty cool watches. I'll be honest, my wife uses the Tick Watch Pro. I do not use it. It is not my watch. I cannot tell you about it. All I can tell you is what she has told me. And she loves the thing. Like it's it's a lot better than the watch she was using before and the battery gets her through a whole day every day uh it charges it at night and there's just not much else to say other than it works she loves it this is a newer model that's smaller and she wanted a smaller watch because she's a lady and she wants a smaller watch on her wrists so i'll be using the tick watch pro and she'll be using the tick watch s2 and then i can give my impressions on tick watch pro but i, I don't know being realistic i may or may not it just depends if it's something I feel I need to make a, a, a video on. I'm, bad, just, I'm just bad at following up videos. and That's the truth, and I'm sorry. English United States. I've read it. <laughs> really, I haven't, but okay. Download on your phone, Wear OS, to look for this thing. Okay. It's so weird how it's like right in the screen. All right, so we're in the Wear OS app. TickWatch Pro is currently synced. Add new watch. It's looking for the watch to pair to. There it is, the 0181. Now it's connecting. Super simple setup, just pretty much straightforward. Yes, allow it access to all the things because it's on your wrist and you know you want things to be as convenient as possible. Yay, I could definitely tell you that process took up to five minutes there. And there we have it. We are now connected to the TickWatch S2. We got the Pro removed from her account, and I'm going to put it on my account, and I'm going to finally know for myself if this TickWatch is good. I use the Samsung Gear, but it's messed up. It doesn't connect to my phone anymore, so I just use it for alarms and time. <laughs> All right, so being in Wear OS new, because I never used Wear OS, I used Android 
watch uh, interface, and then they changed it to Wear OS a little while back. I have not used it since then, so I am a complete noob, but it still works kind of the same. It's at 100%. It's connected to Wi-Fi. It's connected to Bluetooth, and then we have our, like, uh, battery-saving mode. If your battery's about to die and you want your watch to keep telling you the time, uh, airplane mode, so no, no Wi-Fi, no Bluetooth, no nothing, uh, and then other settings, like, you can get, jump right to the brightness change it up and down or you can go right into your settings here and see all the different things like storage all right so in the app you can do most of the things you can do right from the phone so we can change it to a different watch face like if we want this one it'll change when we click on it so now it's different it's hard to see i know there it goes i'll change it to this one now it's that one so you can change it right on the fly using there you can mess all your settings you could disconnect it. You can take a screenshot of your watch. So if there's something on your watch you want to share with everyone, you can do it right from here. Just lots of features. And I know personally from when I had Android Wear, I loved it so much. I missed it when I went to Tizen because you could have so many more apps for Android Wear than you could for Tizen. And that's still true today. Uh, so I'm definitely excited to use the TickWatch Pro and you know, see what it has to offer while my wife uses this watch. That about wraps it up for this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not doing so already. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.